What's up, guys? Ellie and Nick. Today we are in Germany, just north of Hanover, and we are at Benelli Bauer, who's the largest parts distributor of all vintage Benelli's, mostly 60s into the late 80s, so the 70 say, of course, and all the 900 says, and all pretty much anything in between. This is uh, Wilford, who owns Benelli Bauer. This is his personal collection of Benelli and Ducatis, mostly Benelli though. There's some very famous Benelli's here. If you have the Benelli Superbike book, it's famous Benelli's. Most of those are in, these are in that book, including this race bike, which is an 850. And then this bike's very famous, which he has everything to complete it. And I've been bugging him to complete it because this is one of the most famous says ever. This say I've never seen for this framing. I don't know what this is, so I can't tell you much about it. Um, it looks a little overkill to me, but there's a 900 later model. These are some of the early 650s. It's got some neat stuff. Original sidecar, tough to find. Moda B, but Moda B is the same as Benelli. All made in Pedro, the Pedro plant. I love these. This is this this particular bike is a special bike. These motors, this is all gears from top to bottom. And these motors in the 30s, this 250 motor, and then the 500 really won a lot of races. Kind of put Benelli on the map. There's a 500 there. This motor right here put Benelli on the map. It really did. It won lots of races and uh, made Benelli a staple. Uh, in the sport world bike in industry there's so many bikes in here I love these they're just pieces of art not a bike I would ride every day but very beautiful bikes we see these in America usually with the Riverside badge the hobbies kind of you can find them in America they're not that rare um, two and 350 single cylinders but they vibrate the crap out of you you ride them for half an hour your feet are numb well they're six cylinder 900 this is awards riverside which we know in america sold at montgomery ward which i i have this exact bike I don't ride it much but i do have it now you get into some of these there's so Benelli did so many weird things so they made a lot of small CC big cylinder, four cylinders and six cylinders. So this is a 304, which is a 300 four cylinder. But then they made this 250 four cylinder, which if you watched my video earlier, you saw the race bike with the 254. These rev so high, man. You can read these things are like 12 grand and they go from six to 12 in like a split second. They're, they're really neat little motors. I always uh, admired small, small CC, lots of cylinders. There's another Mojave. Somebody made a little race bike out of. This is a Motor V. Um, Benelli also made that same kind of motor. Here's a perfect example of one right here. This is a 500 dual. You, a lot of them had dual carbs. This one doesn't. I did check this one out. This number, the motor, the bike's correct, but the motor is not the original motor to this frame. So one year off. Now, Moda B is the same as Benelli. They remain the same plan in Pedro. Now, if you remember back in the in that day, in when they started making the Say and the Quattro and these bikes here, uh, Di Tommaso, who designed the Ford Pantera, he actually owned Motor Guzzi. So when you come over here. You'll see, here is a motor guzzi, but that's a Benelli engine. That's a Benelli engine. See, this is a Benelli 350, 350 four-cylinder, Benelli motor guzzi 350 four-cylinder, same engine, because Di Tommaso owned both companies. Well, he was part owner in Benelli. Now, when they came out with the Say, Di Tommaso fought to make the Say motor guzzi, but he lost. He, he lost in, in the battle, and he got outvoted, and the say became Benelli. 
You know, Benelli made so many different models. Uh, every time I go somewhere new of Benelli, I am amazed how many models they made. I've never seen this Guzzi dirt bike Enduro, and I've never seen that Benelli Enduro. I'd love to have both of them because I've been getting in the woods, drive, riding in the woods, and both of these I would love, I would love to have the Benelli. It's water cool too, which is pretty cool. There's so many, you, 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 once you think you know everything Benelli ever made, you see something that you never saw before. Because they made so many models, it's crazy. I think more than any other motorcycle company. You know, this is the, the last of the Italian made Benelli's. These are the Tornadoes. They have these air intake fans to feed the air box and cool the bike too. They actually cool the, the cooling system, the radiators. But they're so cool when you look going around and you hear these things blasting. This is one of the sexiest bikes ever made. But they are, have, do have some issues. And it's not very comfortable. The tank's a little dangerous, so you have to sh stop short. Catches you right in the wrong place. Um, all these scooters are Benelli. Benelli made so many scooters. I actually have one of these right here, brand new in the box at home. Tomorrow, we are going to go through the parts department here at Benelli Bauer. They have every part for every classic Benelli. Here's another example, Moda B, 500 Quattro, is the same as a Benelli 500 Quattro. This, they just changed this only. Everything else is identical, they just changed the logo. And, you know, they just were different branding, trying to brand different places, but they're all the same. Tomorrow we'll go through the parts department with Wilford and show you the extensive collection of parts. He has literally any part you need for a classic Benelli. And one of the, he, he bought out Benelli, Pe, Pe, Pezzero in Italy. He bought out the factory's parts department, all of it, bought it all. So he owns it all. Then he went to America and bought all the parts from Cosmopolitan Motors in Hatboro, Pennsylvania, which was the only importer of Benelli for almost Benelli's entire life and existence. So we'll go through the parts department tomorrow. You're going to be shocked. It's endless. <laughs> he even has lots of rare race stuff from the race department, and uh, a lot of it I want that he won't sell, but we'll see if we can talk him into something. All right, guys, see you tomorrow.